I came to Microsoft in 1991 to create Microsoft Research. My role over the years has really been to build the organization, to shape it, and to really create the kind of environment that was really conducive to doing world-class basic research. Microsoft is a company that depends on technical innovation, and research is the core organization in Microsoft that's responsible for innovation. Innovation happens throughout the company, but it starts with ideas from research. Microsoft Research has really grown well beyond any expectation I might have had when I started. You know, we now have more than 800 researchers. We're really one of the largest basic research organizations in the field of computer science. Research really is about knowing that the more we try to know more, the more we know we don't know enough. So we never stop learning. I think of research as a process of exploration in the space of ideas, really. Computer science is a very open field still. It's a very young field. What computing can do is still not fully defined or determined. It gives us a completely open field to explore what can be done. Microsoft Research, we're working on many different areas of computer science. You know, we're doing work in operating systems, programming languages, computer architecture, but we're also working on computer vision, in speech recognition, in machine translation and natural language processing, in databases and data mining. We're working on networking technologies. We're looking at things like social computing, how to build search technologies, what's called information retrieval. We're tackling important theoretical problems in the field of computer science that sort of underpin everything. The wonderful thing about research is that you never know where it will lead. And the amazing thing about Microsoft research is that they support us in the journey wherever we go, following our passions and our dreams. I am very proud of how far we have come. What we have done exceeds anyone's widest expectation. We are more committed than ever to advancing the state of the art in computer science. The Silicon Valley Laboratory is unique. Instead of pursuing a broad spectrum of topics in computer science, we're quite focused on the area that is essentially distributed computing. One of the exciting areas at Cambridge is our research into machine learning and perception. We're exploring new ways for people and computers to work together more intelligently and more naturally. Microsoft invests in bringing together incredibly passionate people who have all different kinds of viewpoints. They're younger, they're older, they're men, they're women. They're from different disciplines, the social sciences, the core computer sciences. We let these people interact with each other follow their passion, create new subjects, and in the process, they create new worlds for our customers. The essence of research is that it's unpredictable. Some of it takes many years to come to fruition. Microsoft Research is working with the academic researchers, it's working with governments, and it's also working with industry. What we're doing is empowering scientists, empowering people with better tools and technologies around the world. Well, there really isn't a Microsoft product that hasn't been touched in some way by the technologies that are created for Microsoft Research. Technology transfer is incredibly important for us. We have a unique opportunity to really have an impact on Microsoft products. And the fact that Microsoft has invested so heavily in research is an indication how the leadership realizes that Microsoft Research is that competitive edge for Microsoft. One of the advantages Microsoft Research gives to Microsoft is it allows the company to be able to see into the future. You know, we're working on tomorrow's problems. You know, we're trying to find solutions that will allow Microsoft to do things for its customers in the future that, that they only dream about today.